hello everyone you are welcome to best notes tutorials and in this video we will be doing now mcqs 100 mcqs so just give a try and write down your score in comment box so first which of the following words describe the prevailing attitude of high modern literature skeptical authoritative impressionistic both a and c so your answer is both A and C. Next for you, the Cambridge School refers to a group who emerged when 1900s, 1960s, 1920s or 1930s. So your answer is B, 1960s. What is the poem called whose first letter each line is spell out a word? Alliterative, epic, acrostic or haiku? Answer is acrostic. From which century does the poetic form folk ballad date? 12th, 14th, 17th or 19th? Your answer is 12th century. Which of the following statement is correct? Shakespeare's first child, Susan, was born in 1583. In 1585, twins were born and named Hamnet and Judith, both A and B, and none of the above. Your answer is C. How many languages did Chaucer know? Two, four, one or five? So your answer is four. In which language the stories of Canterbury Tales are written? French, Latin, Middle English or English? Your answer is C. Middle English. Of which poet was it is said even if he is not a great poet he is certainly a great something. It was Kipling. Why did poetry quarterly cease publication in 15, 1953? Owner convicted to fraud fall in sales, rise in taxation or magazine, shortage of paper. Your answer is owner convicted of fraud. In what form Dylan Thomas under Milkwood first became known? Book of poetry, a radio play, a stage play or a short film? Answer is a radio play. Ted Hughes was married to which American poetess? Carolyn Kisser, Mary Oliver, Sylvia Plath or Mar Marianne Moore? Your answer is Sylvia Plath. Sassoon and Brooke wrote what kind of poetry? Light, light words, romantic, political satire or war poems? Your answer is war poems. For this you can remember the shortcut boss. War of boss or boss, boss's war. So boss, Brooke Owen Sassoon, sorry. Brooke Owen Sassoon, sorry. Four writers were there who are called war poets. Funny poems of five lines is called Quintin, Quintin, Lambric, Sextet, or Palindrome. Answer is Quintin. Let me mark it. Okay, Quintin. Next. What is the title of the poem that begins thus? 
What is this life is full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. Uh, comfort. It is uh, comfort, leisure, relaxation or tranquility. Answer is leisure. Complete this Shakespearean line. Let me not be the marriage of true minds bring. Impediments, inconvenience, worries or trouble. Your answer is 1. A. Impediments. There was aware of her true love at length come riding by. This is a couplet from the Balif's daughter in uh, Islington. What figure of speech is used by the poet? Metaphor, synecdoche, euphemism or irony? So your answer is synecdoche. What is the study of meter, rhyme and in intonation of a poem called as prosody, allegory, scansion or assonance? Answer is prosody. Who has defined poetry as fundamental creative act using language? H. W. Langfellow, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Dylan Thomas or William Wordsworth? Dylan Thomas. So poetry ko no ek fundamental creative act bola tha language ka. Which is an example of proverb? Get a stake in our business. You can't have your cake and eat it too. The snow was white as cotton and you are driving me crazy. So your answer is B. You can't have your cake and eat it too. The theme is a plot, a character, an address. The point a writer is trying to make out a subject. This is your answer D. What is the word for a play on words, pun, simile, haiku or metaphor? So it is pun. Literary term mein aap yaad kar sakte hain. The word for a play on words is called pun. Who wrote The Winter's Tale? George Bernard Shaw, John Dryden, Christopher Marlowe or William Shakespeare? Answer is William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born in the year 64, 44, 78, 82. Answer is 64. Which of the following writer wrote historical novels? Jane Austen and Charlotte Bronte? Sir Walter Scott and Maria Asworth, William Wordsworth or Coleridge, Mary Shelley or Percy Bushy Shelley. Answer is Sir Walter Scott and Mary Maria Asworth. Who wrote Canterbury Tales? Geoffrey Chaucer, Whittington, Thomas Lancaster, Richard II. Answer is Geoffrey Chaucer. Which of the following words describe the prevailing attitude of high modern literature? Skeptical, authoritative, impressionative, and both A and C. Answer is both A and C. Skeptical, impressionistic. Which poet invented the concept of the variable foot in poetry? William Carlos William, Emily Dickinson, Gerard Manley Hopkins or Robert Frost? So your answer is William Carlos William. What is the study of poetry, poetry meter and form called? This is we have done already. It is prosody. Next word. In 
his poem Kipling said, "If you can meet with triumph and glory, ruin, disaster, or victory, which is the answer?" Your answer is disaster. Which influential American poet was born in Long Island in eighteen nineteen? Emily Dickinson, Paul Dunbar. John Greenleaf Whittier or Walt Whitman Answer is Walt Whitman Sylvia Plath married which English poet We have just done this one Masfield Cosley Uses or Larkin Answer is Ted Hughes Which American writer published a brave and startling truth in nineteen ninety six? Robert Hess, Jessica Hagdon, Maya Aglo, Michael Palmer. Your answer is C. Maya Aglo. Here you have Maya Aglo the answer. Next one, Rupert Brooke wrote his poetry during which conflict? Boer War, uh, Second World War, Korean War, or First World War? As I told you, they were war poet in First World War. They were, and for uh, this I also told you a shortcut, boss. Remember this shortcut. Harold Nicholson described which poet as very yellow and glum, perfect manners. So, ye very yellow or glum, kis poet ke liye bola tha? Harold Nicholson ne. E. Cumming, T. S. Eliot, John Greenleaf Whittier, or Walt Whitman. Answer is T. S. Eliot. Which kind of poet poem is Edward Lear associated with? Nature, epic, sonnet, or nonsense? Answer is nonsense. Which poem ends with I shall but love thee better after death? How do I love thee, O to Grecian urn? In faith, I do not love thee with mine eyes, or let me not to marries of true minds. Answer is A. How do I love thee? Which of the following are Thomas Hardy's books? Poor Men and the Lady, Return of the Native, Charlotte, None of the Above, both A and B. B. Answer is both A and B. Next. What is earliest surviving European poem? The Homeric epic, the Gilgamesh epic or Deleuze epic and the Hesiodoic ode. Your answer is A. The Homeric Epic. Where did Chaucer bury? Westminster Abbey, Kent Church, or Chapel at Windsor? Answer is Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey. Next one. Which of the following is not an English poet or from England? Victor Hugo, Alexander Pope, John Milton or Samuel Tyler Coleridge? So your answer is Victor Hugo. Which of the following is not a poet? William Shakespeare, Terry Siler, Browning or Emily Dickinson? 
So your answer is Terry Shela. Who wrote the poems on death and women, wine and snuff? John Milton, John Keats, P.V. Shelley, William Wordsworth. Your answer is B. John Keats. A poem with no meter or rhyme is called Lyrics. Lyrics, free verse, narrative, or none of the above? Answer is free verse. A poem that tells a story with plot, setting, and character. That is lyric, free verse, or narrative? Answer is narrative. Using words or letter to imitate sound. That is called alliteration, simile, onomatopoeia, or none of the above. Answer is onomatopoeia. A comparison of unlike things without using a word comparison like, such as, like, or as is called metaphor, simile, personification, none of the above. Your answer is metaphor. Applying human qualities to non-human qualities. That is personification, onomatopoeia, alliteration or none of these. So your answer is personification. A pattern of accented or and unaccented syllables in, in lines of poetry, rhyming uh, rhyme scheme, meter, alliteration, none of the above. Answer is meter. From which language the name Chaucer has been taken? French, Latin, Italian or English. Your answer is French. Chaucer's Franklin was guilty of which sin? Lust, corruption, theft, or gluttony? Your answer is gluttony. Gluttony means eating too much. Which of these is magnum opus of Chaucer? So this is quite easy one. Your answer is C. Which poet invented the concept of variable foot in poetry? This is just repeated. Let's see how many you remember. Answer is William Carlos William. Aldous Huxley was a poet but was better known as what? Politician, dramatist, novelist or architect? He is better known as novelist. Aldous Huxley was a poet but he was a novelist but he was a novelist but he was a novelist. The magazine Contemporary Poetry and Prose was inspired by which exhibition? Jo Contemporary Poetry and Prose tha, wo uh, kis exhibition mein dikhi thi? So, oh, sorry, was inspired by which exhibition? Kis exhibition se uh, isko inspiration mili thi? Festival of Britain, the surrealist uh, exhibition or People of 20th Century, Drawing of 20th Century? Answer is the surrealist exhibition. How old was Rupert Brooke at the time of his death? The Rupert Brooke was at the time of his death. How old was Rupert Brooke at the time of his death? 
थे सो आंसर इज ट्वेंटी एट वेयर डिड टी एस इलियट स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ इज चाइल्ड हुड जो टी एस इलियट थे उन्होंने अपना जो चाइल्ड हुड था ज्यादातर कहाँ बिताया था डेनवर में सेंट लुइस में क्यूबा में या टोरंटो में योर आंसर इज सेंट लुइस सेंट लुइस में टी एस इलियट ने अपना चाइल्ड हुड बिताया था नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड डब्ल्यू एच ऑर्डन डिस्क्राइब पोइट्री डब्ल्यू एच ऑर्डन ने पोइट्री को किस तरह से डिस्क्राइब किया एन ऑफुल वे टू अर्न अ लिविंग अ गेम ऑफ नॉलेज गेम ऑफ नॉलेज द सोल एक्सपोज एन एक्सप्लोजन ऑफ लैंग्वेज तो डब्ल्यू एच ऑर्डन पोइट्री को मानते थे अ गेम ऑफ नॉलेज who was often called as romantic poet as most of his poems revolved around nature kise romantic poet mana jata hai kyunki unka jo poetry thi unka wo nature ke ird gird ghumti thi blake shakespeare morris or wordsworth so this is a famous writer so everybody knows this wordsworth which is an exaggeration एक्जैजरेशन हमें किस में देखने को मिलता है अलिट्रेशन हाइकू हाइपरबोले और प्रोज सो योर आंसर इज हाइपरबल और हाइपरबोले विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ जैपनीज पोइटिक फॉर्म जिंतशी वेला ओड और टंका so your answer is d what is sonnet a poem of 6 lines a poem of 8 lines a poem of 12 lines a poem of 14 lines so your answer is a poem of 14 lines what is the imitation of natural sound in a word from personification hyperbole alliteration or onomatopoeia so your answer is onomatopoeia what is difference between a simile and a metaphor no difference simply two different ways in referring to the same thing a simile is more descriptive a simile uses a simile uses as or like to make a comparison and a metaphor doesn't a simile must uses uh, must use animals in comparison your answer is d which of the following is a shakespeare's tragedy titus andronicus othello macbeth or all of above answer is all of above of men's first disobedience and the fruit of that forbidden tree whose mortal taste brought death into the world and all our woe with loss of eden this is an extract from extract from paradise lost paradise regained samson agonist or divorce tract answer is paradise lost Which of the following is not a work of John Keats? In me se kaun sa John Keats ka work nahi hai? Endymion, to some ladies, to hope, or none of the above. None of the above is the answer. Who wrote Ten Little Niggers? Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Irwin Welsh, Agatha Christie, or none of the above so this work is by agatha christie dash is a late 20th century play written by a woman queen christina top girls camely the home coming option c is the answer camely camely was written in 20th century 
by a woman who wrote the hound of the baskervilles jo hound of the baskervilles thi wo kisne likha tha agatha christie एच राइडर गार्ड पी डी जेम्स और आर्थर कैनन डॉयले तो आपका आंसर है आर्थर कॉनन डॉयले विच वेल्स पॉइट रोट अंडर मिल्क वुड जो अंडर वुड वुड मिल्क अंडर मिल्क वुड है ये वर्क किस वेल्स पॉइट का है एंथनी हॉपकिंस रिचर्ड बर्टन टॉम जॉन्स डैलन थॉमस ये आपका पिछले पीपीटी में भी आया था मार्गरेट एटवुड वॉज बॉर्न इन विच कैनेडियन सिटी जो मार्गरेट एटवुड थी वो कैनेडियन सिटी में किस कैनेडियन सिटी में पैदा हुई थी वैंकुअर टोरंटो ऑटोवा और मॉन्ट्रियल आंसर है ऑटोवा How has Stephen Dunn been described in the Oxford Companion of 20th century poetry a poet of middleness capturing a sense of spiritual maroonness one of the leading prairie poet and has some distinction as a critic aapka answer hai a poet of middleness a poet of middleness kise kaha jata hai Stephen Dunn ko next for you from which shakespeare's play is this famous line did my heart love till now force wear it sigh sight for i never saw a true beauty until this night a midsummer night's dream hamlet othello romeo and juliet answer is romeo and juliet who wrote this famous line shall i compare thee to a summer's day thou art more lovely and more temperate t s eliot lord tennyson charlotte bronte or william shakespeare answer is william shakespeare aldous huxley was a poet but was better known as what politician जो आल्डे सक्सले थे वो पॉइंट भी थे लेकिन उनको एक उन्हें कुछ और चीज के लिए भी फेमस माना जाता है पॉलिटिशियन ड्रोमेटिस्ट पॉलिटिशियन ड्रोमेटिस्ट नॉवलिस्ट और आर्किटेक्ट योर आंसर इज नॉवलिस्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस सो आई एम जस्ट रिपीटिंग टू थ्री क्वेश्चन फॉर यू द फेस्टिवल ऑफ ब्रिटेन ओके मैगजीन जो थी कंटेम्प्रेरी पोइट्री एंड प्रोज इंस्पायर्ड बाय विच एग्जीबिशन किस एग्जीबिशन ने इंस्पायर्ड किया था अभी हमने इसको किया था सो कैन यू टेल मी इट वाज द सर रियलिस्ट एग्जीबिशन शेक्सपियर कंपोज्ड मच ऑफ हिस प्लेस इन व्हाट सोर्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स अलिट्रेटिव वर्ड्स सॉनेट फॉर्म सोनेट फॉर्म आयम बिग पेंटामीटर डेक्टाइलिक हेक्सा मीटर योर आंसर इज आयम बिग पेंटा मीटर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पोइटिक ट्रेडिशन द एपिक द कॉमिक ऑकल्ट और ट्रेजिक योर आंसर इज सी ऑकल्ट In 1960s the Colossus was the first book of poems published by which poetess jo Colossus jo work tha 1960s ka wo kaun si poetess ne publish kiya tha 1960 mein Colossus Elizabeth Bishop Sylvia Plath Marian Moore or Laura Jackson answer hai Sylvia Plath Carl Sandburg planked wet fish contains what kind of imagery sea scenes rural idyll war innocent childhood your answer is c war carl sandburg so related to his planked whitefish uh, contains 
what imagery war imagery who wrote about the idlic isle of inisbury jo idlic hai isle of inisbury ye kiska work hai dalen thomas ka ezra pound ka yeats ka e cummings ka so your answer is c w b yeats which poet laureate wrote about a church mouse batchman uses marvel or larkin your answer is batchman you can remember batchman mouse you can speak like this and you will remember it what was strange about emily dickinson she rarely left home she wrote in court jo emily dickinson thi उनकी लाइफ के बारे में एक अजीब चीज क्या थी शी रियली लेफ्ट होम शी रोट इन कोर्ट शी नेवर अटैम्प्ट टू पब्लिश हर पोइट्री शी रोट हर पोइम्स इन इंडिविजुअल इंक योर आंसर इज शी रियली लेफ्ट होम घर से बाहर बहुत कम जाती थी इन कॉल रिस्पॉन्स द राइम ऑफ एंशंट मरीना वेर वर द पीपल गोइंग वेर वर थ्री गार्लेंट्स गोइंग जो तीन योद्धा थे वो कहाँ जा रहे थे दे वर गोइंग टू अ वेडिंग विच पॉइट इज कंसिडर्ड अ नेशनल हीरो इन ग्रीस ग्रीस का जो नेशनल हीरो है वो कौन से पॉइंट को माना जाता है कीट्स को बायरन को सोलन को या साफो को योर आंसर इज लॉर्ड बायरन ग्रीक का जो नेशनल हीरो माना जाता है ग्रीस का उसे लॉर्ड बायन को माना जाता है कंसंट्रेट ऑन दीज एलिमेंट्स व्हेन राइटिंग अ गुड पॉइम कैरेक्टर मेन आइडिया थीम पर्पस एंड ऑडियंस थीम पर्पस फॉर्म एंड मूड और राइम एंड रीजन आंसर इज थीम पर्पस फॉर्म एंड मूड ओल्ड लैंग सिंज इज अ फेमस पॉइंट बाय होम स वॉल्टर स्कॉट William Butler Yeats, Henry Longfellow, Robert Burns. Answer is D. 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 Henry Longfellow, or none of the above so it was 100 year war when chaucer was imprisoned where were the pilgrims going in the canterbury tales canterbury tales mein pilgrims kahan ja rahe hain to the shrine of saint peter at canterbury cathedral to the shrine of saint thomas becket at canterbury cathedral ya both a and b none of these Your answer is to the shrine of Saint Thomas Becket. B is the answer. Which represents an example of alliteration? Language arts, Peter Piper picked peppers, I like music, a beautiful scenery with music. As we know, we repeat consonant sound in alliteration. अलिट्रेशन में जो कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड होता है उसका रिपीटेशन होता है सो यू कैन सी इट इज अलिट्रेशन अ पोएम दैट जनरली हैज मीटर एंड राय जो जनरली जिस पोएम में हमारे पास मीटर और राइम होता है उसे हम कहते हैं लिरिक फ्री वर्ड्स नेरेटिव और नन ऑफ द अब योर आंसर इज लिरिक एंड इफ इट डजेंट हैव इट इज कॉल्ड फ्री वर्ड्स अगर नहीं है तो फ्री वर्ड्स कहा जाता है नेक्स्ट इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट अपील्स टू वन ऑफ द फाइव सेंसेस अगर कोई डिस्क्रिप्शन है और वो हमारे सेंसेस को फाइव सेंसेस को अपील करता है तो उसे क्या कहेंगे इमेजरी पर्सोनिफिकेशन मेटाफर नन ऑफ द अब योर आंसर इज ए इमेजरी अगर कोई इस तरह से अपील करता है फाइव सेंसेस को तो हम उसे कहते हैं imagery the comparison of unlike things using words like as and 
so what do we call it we just did it so it is simile अगर हम like and as का use करते हैं किसी sentence में तो हम उसे simile कहेंगे comparison अगर हो रहा है तो the repetition of beginning consonant sound अभी मैंने बताया था आपको कि अगर consonant sound repeat हो रहा है तो उसे हम कहते हैं alliteration the repetition of similar ending sound अगर ending sound same है तो हम उसे क्या कहेंगे we call it alliteration on a metapia rhyme or none of the above your answer will be rhyme which of the following is not a literary device used for aesthetic uh, effect in poetry kaun sa aisa device hai literary device hai jise aesthetic effect ke liye use nahi kiya jata assonance onomatopoeia rhyme or grammar to aapka answer hai grammar what poison does claudius pour into the ear of hamlet's father causing his death kaun sa aisa zeher hai jo claudius ne hamlet ke father ke kaan mein dala tha burdock uh, habenan banbury or hamlet your answer is habenan to jo poison tha us poison ka naam tha habenan why does queen गर्टिट्यूड डाय जो क्वीन गर्टिट्यूड थी वो क्यों उसकी डेथ होती है एक्सीडेंटली स्टेप्ड बाई लाइटिस जो लाइटिस था उसने उसे एक्सीडेंटली स्टैप कर दिया था ड्रॉन्स इन द रिवर आउट साइड द कासल सफर्स अ फैटल हार्ट अटैक वाइल वॉचिंग हेमलेट फाइट लाइटिस पॉइजन बाय ड्रिंकिंग फ्रॉम हेमलेट्स कप सो राइट आंसर इज डी पॉइजन बाय ड्रिंकिंग सो जो क्वीन गर्टिट्यूड की डेथ होती है हेमलेट में वो हेमलेट के लिए जो कप रखा रहता है उसे ड्रिंक कर लेती है उसमें पॉइजन होता है और उसे पी देती है हु से इज गुड नाइट स्वीट प्रिंस एंड फ्लाइट ऑफ एंजल्स सिंग दी टू दाई रेस्ट ये किसने कहा फोर्टीन ब्रास मर्सिलियस और कॉरस और हॉरिसियो सो दिज लाइन्स आर सेट बाय हॉरिसियो हाउ आर पोलिनियस एंड लाइट इज रिलेटेड जो पोलिनियस है और लाइट इज है वो किस तरह से रिलेटेड हैं फादर एंड सन अंकल नेफ्यू कजिन और कजिन ब्रदर ब्रदर सो दे व फादर एंड सन father and son who is waltimant ambassador to king of norway from king of denmark hamlet's cousin hamlet's cousin ambassador to the king of denmark from the king of norway or assassin in the service of fortin bras your answer is a सो हु वॉज वॉल्टीमेंट वॉल्टीमेंट कौन था वो था एम्बेस्टर था किंग ऑफ नॉर्वे का फ्रॉम द किंग ऑफ डेनमार्क शेक्सपियर कंपोज मच ऑफ हिस प्लेस इन वर्ड सर्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स अलिट्रेटिव वर्ड्स सोनेट फॉर्म आयम्बिक पेंटामीटर और डेक्टाइलिक एग्जामीटर आंसर इज आयम्बिक पेंटामीटर वी जस्ट एड इट and this is again repeated which of the following is not a poetic tradition so it is occult how many soliloquies does hamlet deliver jo hamlet hai usme kitni soliloquies hamlet bolta hai 2 4 7 or 9 so in that we get seven soliloquies Who does Polonius send to spy on Laertes in Paris? Polonius किसको as a spy send करता है Francisco, Gorgonzolo or Reynaldo or Samson? Answer is Reynaldo. What is the name of the play that Hamlet stays 
फॉर क्लॉडियस जो स्टेज प्ले हैमलेट करता है उसका नाम क्या है क्या था स्लिंग्स एंड एरोस वॉइस ऑफ किंग्स द मर्डर ऑफ गोंजालो गोंजागो और द स्लिंग ऑफ लुसियानस आंसर इज सी द मर्डर ऑफ गोंजागो वेयर वॉज हैमलेट स्टरिंग बिफोर रिटर्न टू डेनमार्क विटिनबर्ग ऑस्लो लंडन और डबलिन आंसर इज विटिनबर्ग हैमलेट जो स्टडी कर रहा होता है वो विटिनबर्ग में कर रहा होता है कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग फेमस लाइन फ्रॉम हैमलेट समथिंग इज रॉटन इन द स्टेट ऑफ इंग्लैंड वेनिस डेनमार्क और मैन आंसर इज डेनमार्क Geoffrey Chaucer is also known as the reformer of English language poet of English language the father of English language literature or the father of English language C the father of English literature The Canterbury Tales is an unfinished work wherein each pilgrim was supposed to tell more than one tale how many tales did Chaucer originally Envision each pilgrim's telling. Four, six, two, or one. So your answer is four. They used. Uh, they were to tell uh, four for going there and four uh, while coming back. Sorry, two and two. So four total four. In which year Geoffrey Chaucer was born? Geoffrey Chaucer. का जन्म किस सन में हुआ था 1343, 1336, 1432 और 1347। आंसर इज 1343। विच इज द फर्स्ट मेजर वर्क ऑफ जॉफ्रे चौसा जो पहला उनका सबसे बड़ा वर्क था वो कौन सा था ट्रॉलेस एंड कैसीडा कैंटरबरी टेल्स Book of Duchess or House of Fame? Your answer is C. The Book of Duchess. Book of Duchess उनका सबसे बड़ा work, सबसे first work जो उन्होंने लिखा था वो था Which of the following work of Geoffrey Chaucer is an elegy written for Blanche's of Lancaster? The House of Fame, the Book of Duchess, Troilus and Cressida, the Legend of Good Women. आंसर इज द बुक ऑफ द डचेस विच ऑफ चौसेस वर्क इज एसोसिएटेड विद वैलेंटाइंस डे द बुक ऑफ डचेस द कैंटरबरी टेल्स पार्लियामेंट ऑफ फाउल एंड द लास्ट वन द कैंटरबरी टेल्स योर आंसर इज पार्लियामेंट ऑफ फाउल्स During the period of which king did Chaucer fight in the English army for hundred years war between France and England? जो France and England के बीच में hundred years war हुआ था उसमें Chaucer ने किस king के लिए fight की थी William I के लिए II के लिए William II और Edward III. So your answer is Edward III. Who was the king when Geoffrey Chaucer was born? जब Geoffrey Chaucer का जन्म हुआ था उस टाइम कौन किंग था डेविड सेकेंड एडवर्ड थर्ड रिचर्ड सेकेंड एडवर्ड सेकेंड सो इर आंसर इज एडवर्ड थर्ड इन विच ईयर चौसर फॉर्ट इन हंड्रेड ईयर्स वॉर बिटवीन फ्रांस एंड इंग्लैंड किस सन में चौसर ने हंड्रेड ईयर्स वॉर्स में फाइट की थी कौन सा वो ईयर है सो योर आंसर इज बी फिफ्टी नाइन फिफ्टी नाइन इज द आंसर नाउ नेक्स्ट व्हेन डेड चौसर स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन द कैंटरबरी टेल्स कैंटरबरी टेल्स में कब उन्होंने काम करना शुरू किया था 
अर्ली थर्टीन सेवेंटीज़ में या थर्टीन सिक्सटी फोर में अर्ली थर्टीन एटीज़ में या इन थर्टीन सेवेंटी सिक्स योर आंसर इज अर्ली थर्टीन एटीज टू होम डिड एडमंड स्पेंसर एड्रेस हिज सोनेट सीक्वेंस अमारती जो एडमंड स्पेंसर का अमारती सोनेट सीक्वेंस है वो किसको एड्रेस किया हुआ है बॉयले मैरी जेन क्वीन एलिजाबेथ और एलिजाबेथ बॉयले फिर आंसर इज एलिजाबेथ बॉयले वेर डिड एडमिन स्पेंसर बॉर्न एडमिन स्पेंसर कहाँ जन्मे थे वोचेस्टर या चेस्टर में ईस्ट स्मिथफील्ड में या कैंट में Your answer is East Smithfield. During which war the castle of Edmund Spencer, Kilcormel by name burnt by native Irish forces, जो castle of Edmund Spencer था उसे जला दिया गया था कब किस आ, war का वो time था हंड्रेड years war, नाइन years war. 10 years war or 17 years war answer is 9 year war jo admin spencer ka castle tha usko jala diya gaya tha how many lines are in spencerian stanza important question spencer stanza mein kitni lines hoti hain 9 12 24 or 8 Your answer is nine. What is the title of the prose pamphlet Edmund Spenser wrote in the year fifteen ninety six? The Vision of Petrarch, A View of the Present State of Ireland, The Ruins of Time, Vision of the Words, Vanity. Your answer is A View of the Present State of Island. In which year did Edmund Spencer publish his poem, The Shepherd's Calendar? Edmund Spencer ने अपनी जो poem Shepherd Calendar publish की थी वो किस सन में की थी? Fifteen sixty eight, fifteen seventy nine, fifteen ninety seven, or fifteen eighty five. Answer is B fifteen seventy nine. Which of the following is an unfinished work of Edmund Spencer? The Fairy Queen, Amarathi, the Shepherd's Calendar, Astrophel. Answer is A, the Fairy Queen. Which of the following is an unfinished work of Edmund Spencer? जो Fairy Queen है एक्चुअली वो आपका क्या है अनफिनिश्ड वर्क है एडमन uh, स्पेंसर का ही ट्राई टू राइट डाउन ट्वेल्व ईकोस बट इकोलॉक्स बट ही रोट ओनली सिक्स तेयर नेक्स्ट टू होम एडमन स्पेंसर डेडिकेटेड हिज वर्क द फेरी क्वीन जो फेरी क्वीन है वो किसको डेडिकेट किया है एडमन uh, स्पेंसर ने एल्जेथन एज में uh, ये वर्क लिखा गया था so first answer is sydney algebes mary or chaucer so your answer is algebes because his works were dedicated to elizabeth under which pseudonym the work the shepherd's calendar was published jo shepherd's calendar tha wo kis pseudonym ke under mein publish kiya gaya tha edward jonathan Emmanuel or Emerito. So your answer is D. Emerito. In which college Edmund Spencer studied? Pembroke College. Spencer ने किस कॉलेज में अपनी पढ़ाई की थी? Pembroke College में, Latin College में, Corpus Christi में या Queens College में? So your answer is Pembroke. College. How many soliloquies does Hamlet deliver? 
हेमलेट ने कितनी सॉल लकीस डिलीवर की थी सो वी जस्ट वेंट थ्रू दिस क्वेश्चन होपफुली यू कैन टेल मी दैट